Good day and welcome to another edition of Outside of Genie, where we will be doing a preview on today's racing from Kenilworth. Today is the 26th of August. But before we look at the fields and the betting, let's quickly do some, just a few things I would like to draw your attention to. First of all, Outside of Genie, for these persons that are watching for the first time, is a service where we, uh, Outside of Genie, is doing an analysis of the form and then by doing that analysis, we provide you with outsider selections that you can add into your play. We are not tipsters per se. I give you the numbers that I think each race, um, I give you outright selection, that is the horse that I think will win the race and it can be any price. I have given 20 to one shots and 50 to one shots as my first selections. And then I give you two horses, which is my outsider selections, which you can add into your play, but those two numbers is in no particular order. So you then add that numbers in whatever play you favor, because each punter has got his own favorite bet. So you then utilize these outsider selections, adding into your selections. And if they do arrive, then you'll be standing in a payout queue, collecting the money and having a laugh and thanking outsider genie. We do this preview every day, so to get the notification every day that we post our video on YouTube, you can please click the subscribe button, ring the bell, and you'll be notified every time that a video is posted. We are also available on social media, um, at Twitter, Instagram, and on WhatsApp, 83 585 then, yeah, uh, just the short summary of some of our selections for the last week. Gravel on the 24th, we gave you Miss Generosity, 20 to 1. Also, our value bid on that race ran second, giving us exact our 548 rand. Um, there's just a comment from one of our members. Well done, you did it again. Um, and this guy made 70,000 rand from those two horses. In Gravel, we gave you Generous Lady on the 23rd. 20, 20 to 1. At Kenilworth, we gave you two 21 to 1 shots on, on Saturday, notably race 8, number 2. One of my members, the same member who took that um, box made in 17,000, he banked a rocket girl in his pick 6 and he picked up the pick 6 for 3%, which was a cool 50,000 rand. Now, and then also uh, last week, Monday on Val, we had um, number 9 and uh, race 9, number 1, Whirly Whirly. And August, and they had Big Blue Marvel 10 to 1, Turpentine Feather in the Nest 16 to 1, and Creation 14 to 1. And also on February, I said that this was as a first timer, includes in all bets. Now, Gold Cup Day is a few days away. Um, I'm hoping to do my preview today with PS Tradom if he has time in his program, but he, because he said to me he's a, bit, a little bit time constrained. Um, of course, he still has to, to do rides and travel to Durban and all of that, but we'll try and see if we can fit him in for today. All right, on, on July day, we gave you five very really well-priced winners, and we will try and repeat the feat on Cold Cup Day. Well, what we're going to do, I'm going to do six, six separate videos of the pick six races, so I'll do an analysis of each pick six race. But that will only be to, for members i still do a general preview of races one, two, and three, and race 10, which I will post on social media for free. Um, then I would like to offer you the following packages. Uh, you know, the summer season is upon us in, in Turbontain, starting in September till the end of November. So for 300 Rand, and that's for four months, where the normal price is 500, you can get all the selections till end of December at 300 rand a month. So the total package will cost you 1,200 rand. You can now sign up and get selections from now till the end of September for 400 rand, or you can sign up for Gold Cup weekend, it is 150 rand, or if you sign up now till the end of August, including Saturday Gold Cup, and then up to the 31st of August for 200 rand. What's up me on 83 585 should you be interested in one of our packages. And also, if you subscribe to my service, what you get, and, and, and this is information that is not contained on, in our free daily preview. You get a race by race selection, outright winner and two possible outsider selections. Value bets, 
we give you two value bets, and our value bets has got a good record. We don't give them every day, but we do give them more often than not. Let me give you a best bet of the day. Um, we try and give you a no, nice best bet, not uh, odds on that you can find out yourself. You don't need outside of Genie for that, but if for maybe for a longer price best bet, the outside of Genie is your call. Then we also give you quartet and trifecta selections. Uh, we have had uh, about two weeks ago, we had a quartet to the vol for 15,000 Rand. Um, early in the week, last week, some, some way, we had a quartet for 6,000 Rand. And then in between, we have smaller quartets, 1,000 Rand, 900 Rand, 1,200 Rand that we pick up as well, as well as sometimes nice trifectas. Then we give you affordable PA and pick six, which you can play as is, or you can work with our numbers, add it into your numbers, and then build up your own your own pick six or PA. And if you subscribe to Outside of Genie, then you will get a one-page PDF with all your selections on one page, your selections, your pick six, your PA, and your daily value bits all on one in a PDF form delivered to your WhatsApp so that you can either just work from there or maybe print it out or whatever you want to do with that. So that 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 is enough about that. Let's move up to the racing today, where we are racing from Kenilworth, the winter track. Um, but I got one small future. So let's have a look at and starting race one, which is a maiden plate over 1400 meters. We just can get back to World Sports betting site so I can show you the betting. I do apologize for the delay. I had it all set up, but sometimes um, we just restart again and I just we just have to be patient. That's one of my things in life. I'm not a very patient man, unfortunately. That has cost me a few things in life already. So let's just go back to the top. Okay, here we go. Race number one, the betting is Fire Alley 15 to 20, Master of Power 11 to 2, Fly Over 6 to 1, 13 to 2, Green Light Flash, Big Finger 10 to 1, King Salad and 61, 16 to 1, My Tuition 25 to 1, and Longer the Rest, Two Scratchings 11 and 13. Now let's move down to the favorite, um, which is number five. Let's look at the form. As I always say before, I can't do all the horses. It's going to take too long. So I'm just touching on the horses that I think, uh, you know, which I'm giving a chance. Number six, Flower Addy, very well bred. It's a Flower Addy by Galileo Me. I always got respect for Galileo Me because he upgrades his means. And this horse is at three runs and every run, this horse is improving. Today over the 1400 meters, I think this is the distance that will suit him. Uh, on the shorter distance, he was probably a little bit outpaced. Uh, the 1400 meter and even longer will suit him. The horse is very short in the betting, and that always makes me nervous when a horse is that short in the betting. But that is just one of those things. Um, I do believe Fire Alley the one to beat in this race. Then another uh, outsider selection you can look at is number seven, Fly Over. Fly Over improved at 80 to 1 last time, running second behind Zoo Lucky. That wasn't heavy going. Now getting the minus four again, unfortunately drawn for a 13, but I would think a nice inclusion into your play, quartet, trifecta, swingers, and exactas. I see this horse is also by flying the flag, a stallion that um, I'm not too sure about the breeding, but that had his first winner the other day. And um, uh, so maybe that will start improving his statistics. Another horse that I would like to touch on is number nine, green light flash. Uh, it's a given a green light by Amy's holder by Trippy. And um, this horse, last time out behind the wood spray, it, it, it always starts slow and then it, it was flying 23.7, second fastest 400 to finish over the 1400 meters. Uh, I had a good draw, one and uh, now drawing from five, Greg Shane line, uh, riding. And I'm sure this horse is going to be there when the photos are taken. There are a few other horses with chances. Let me quickly touch on them. King Solomon, um, coming from a long rest, did improve before the rest um, over the 1600 meters, drawn 12, but maybe a nice inclusion in the back end of your quartet. 
A horse that I just want to quickly talk about is my intuition. This is a four-year-old rock of Gibraltar by Woodman Me, very well bred. Um, this was really, it's really a four-year-old, only making his debut now um, from a Grand Cotton stable. It is a, a longer price, it's, it, it is like uh, 25 to 1. But the problem is, I've seen um, Cotton, Denton Cotton winning with horses like that. So maybe to be safe, include in all your bets. So that concludes race number one. Let's move to race number two, which is another maiden plate over 1400 meters. Let's have a look at the betting. Here we've got number 10, Salvatore Mundi, 13 to 10, 92, Benjamin, 5 to 2, Star of the South, Captain's Wolf, 11 to 2, 10 to 1, No More, Mr. Nice Guy, number 2, more, 12 to 1, Shboom, 16 to 1, 33 to 1, and longer the rest. So let's look here. I want to go down to number 10, which is the favorite. Number 10, Salvatore Mundi. Is a dynasty out of a secret obsession by Captain L. What a breeding, very well bred horse. Um, it's finding its female, drawn one, Grand for Nikak on board, has improved last time, fastest 400 to finish. Um, and I do think that this horse will be hard to beat today at 13 to 10. Uh, yeah, I think that is not a bad price. It might, it might, uh, it might be a good idea to take the first two, uh, the first race all to come with this one. That will probably give you a nice prize. Let me quickly work it out. It's time. So the other one was 15 to 20. So 1.75 minus one. Yeah, that will give you a three to one uh, all to come. If you take that all to come from race one, all to come into race two. Salvatore Monday, I think, ought to beat Grand for Nikak riding for Justin Snape. Um, some other horses I want to look at is number nine. Bernard Fade Herb riding here for Greg Indian. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Did improve, also ran in the race behind Waterman. So also finished well, four, four, four fastest. And I'm sure the 1400 meter will, will suit. Also drawn four and might, might trouble the, uh, our first selection, number 10, Salvatore Mundi. Also number 11, Star of the South, as a dynasty by a bar me. Also uh, did debut over 1100 meters, but I am pretty sure that this horse would be looking for a longer distance. Uh, Cornet offer from draw seven, definitely a horse to include in all your calculations. Here there is uh, definitely a few horses of, uh, of chances. Let's have a look at them. Here we got number five, Benjamin, Cass Robin, uh, Bass Robinson, Candace Bass Robinson. Other the mayor also drawn two has improved, um, will also be, I think, more comfortable over the 1400 meters. So, also maybe inclusion in your quartet bet. Here we have Shaboom. Now, Shaboom gets a minus four from draw three, makes it de de desperate. Um, didn't fare too well, but um, I, I like the run behind Matthew the King. And now, maybe getting the minus four, a coup de grab, a, a gelding by Jetmaster Me, not too shabby breeding. And I'm looking for this horse to improve, definitely horse to include in all your uh, bets. Then number seven, Captain World. It's a first timer as a Captain L by Sadler Wells made extremely well bred. So watch the betting, maybe to also include if you can somewhere. Here we have number eight, Silvano by uh, Dana Former Me. Now, this was debut of 1,000 meters, was there and thereabouts uh, in a strong field, four runners, already two winners. And I think this horse will improve currently 33 to 1. Do include in the back ends of your quartet. This horse is not going to be a maiden for long. Vaughn Marshall, a shrewd trainer. And definitely number eight, Negranu, to include into your um, back ends of your quartets. So let's move on to race number three, which is another maiden plate over 1950. Here we have the half and half, 22 to 20, 5 to 2 Attorney General, 92 Brandy and Coke, 6 to 1 Night Song, Mice and Messi, 10 to 1, 12 to 1 Essos, Duke of Mar Diamonds, 14 to 1. The Mad 
Irish Sheriff 21, and Abraham Lincoln 421. So let's have a look at the field here. Now, there was, a, there was a lot of talk about this half and half. I can't remember how many times I've heard that this was is the business of the day just to disappoint. But that run well last time out over the 1600 meters. I think the 1900 meter will, sort, will be more suited, but unfortunately drawn nine. So that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult. But uh, you know, um, this horse is not running on uh, so I mean, four, five, six passes, 400 to win. But as I say, maybe the longer distance will suit, but my preference in this race is number six, which is Attorney General. It's a four year old soft falling rain by a jet master, me. And I do feel that this, in this distance will suit this horse extremely well. He's drawn to, he was in the same race as half and half, but was running on well. Look, 23.9, also there, 23.9. And I think uh, over the longer distance, this horse will, will suit him better willing to take my chances on him. Then also a horse that you can include in the back end of your quartet is Esau's, another flying the flag by Daniel May, uh, uh, Downs and Mayer. And this horse is slowly improving, might want to go over the longer distance. Um, let's quickly scroll it up and let's have a look. Yeah, here I've got number four, Duke of Diamonds. Now, this they run uh, against the other in the race behind Silver Sly. Uh, now, I think Silver Sky won quite easily because if you look three links behind 11 links and four links, but there's also shown improvement, both of them, and definitely horses to include in your, quart in your quartets because I think um, they will be involved. They will be there and thereabouts when the photos are taken at the winning post. So definitely include four-year-olds, definitely uh, inclusion into your play. So that is race number three. Let's move on to race number four, which is another maiden plate again for Phyllis and Mays over 1,400 meters. And here the betting is as follows. Number three, I'm a lady, 28 to 10. Sovereign Rose, 33 to 10. In your time, 7 to 2. Sakura Trick, 13 to 2. Our World, 13 to 2. 10 to 1, Rosie Roan. And longer the rest, two um, scratchings. Number two, Float Like a Butterfly. And number 10, Regina Isabella. Now, when I open up this race, I just had eyes for one horse in this race. And this is number one. Sakura Trick, I've been following this. This is extremely well bred. A dynasty by, um, by Trippy Me. And I would love to own a horse with that breeding. And this horse just taking a little bit of time to find her feet. Last time out, run a very nice race. 22.5, 400 to finish. And I'm sure uh, today this will be the horse to beat in this race. Um, I expect it to run a huge race. Number one, Swakara Trick. Let's have a look at some of the other in, uh, uh, runners in this race. Uh, here we have number three, I'm a Lady, Elusive Ford by Ideal World. Very nicely uh, bred. And also, not about a chance, drawn one, but uh, the yielding having caught this was out last time. But now, uh, today, over the 1400 meters, I'm probably sure we'll be involved with the finish with number one. Then we want to look at, um, I want to go down to horse number eight in God. Fencing Master, not a well-known stallion, okay, by Jet, um, Jet Master Me. Um, this horse debut over 1250, um, didn't fare too badly, run 4.2 lengths, la lacked extra leg. I think the 1400 will be more to this horse, definitely a horse that you need to include into your quartet uh, selections. Here we have number 11, Rosie Roan at the Paul Reeve stable. They've been bringing in the winners lately. Ashby is not driving too bad, has run a few, uh, um, has won a few races uh, lately. There was money for this horse on the bay, opening betting five to two, starting price 57 to 20. Um, didn't run too bad behind Flashy Katrina. That was in gray, well, please note now, back in the Cape. And I do think that they're expecting this horse to run well over the 1400 meters. So 11 Rosie Roan do include in all your bets. 
Yeah, there's other horses with chances in this race. Um, in your time, ran second. Definitely, with another uh, shout, also very extremely well bred. Dynasty by uh, um, All Secret by Captain L. That is a very famous family, has produced a lot of winners. So, um, can be involved in a finish. I think the 1400 meter will also suit. Um, Sovereign Rose has improved with two seconds. So all in all, the difficult race um, um, to find a winner. Lots of horses with chances. I'll stick with my first selection, number one. Then we move down to race number five, which is a uh, merit rated 84 handicap, class C, average merit rating 79. Let's have a look at the betting on race five. On race five, here we have number four, Rocking Ringo, four to one the field. They're betting four to one the field, four to one my hopes and dreams, nine to two path of choice, cyber law, nine to two, magic Mike seven to one, gold medal twelve to one, lucky dancer twelve to one, peaceful day fourteen and to one and sixteen to one and longer the rest. So you don't want to go down my first selection in this race is number five. Path of choice. As I said, we're running on a merit rated 79. This horse has been running against uh, higher uh, divisions. There you have 2.5 behind Wild Coast. Wild Coast won a small feature in, in Durban. Hurricane Harry, not a slouch. Six degree. Um, there, six degree has won again. Katak is not a bad horse. Late at night, Brave Tiger. So I'm looking at path choice. Vaughn Marshall Stable is in form. Bailefeld is riding winners, draw one, and my choice to go in in this race. Um, other horses we can have a look at is number one, Zip. Also from the Vaughan's uh, Marshall Stable, barely riding. Now, this horse, if you have a look here, this horse has been running in much stronger divisions than it's running here today. It's run, today running in a 79, a 87, 87, 98, 102. And don't worry about the last run. This horse came back from a rest, probably needed to run. You know, some horses takes time after the rest to get fitter. This horse already a seven time winner. He likes the course and distance. If you have, look at record here, he says here, course and distance, 11 runs, two seconds, two, third, two fourths. He's won six races over this distance. All his races he's won over this distance. Now, if you, know, if you look at here, yeah, Class C category, ran nine times for four wins and a second. That is a very strong um, indication that this horse is running in the correct um, uh, uh, division. And this horse currently is zip at 53 to 1. You can't get hurt playing this horse each way. And then um, I want to go down to number 12. With 12 Cyber Law, ran against Lucky Dancer last time. Uh, uh, Lucky, yeah, Lucky Dancer. Lucky Dancer was a surprise winner. and But I do think 12 Cyber Law do have a chance again in this field today, only carrying 50 kilograms. So I think we'll definitely be involved in the finish. There are other horses with chances. Here we have Rocking Ringo. He won last time being black, beating Black Belt. Already two winners from that. So that was quite a strong uh, race. And so definitely Ringo, Rocking Ringo, not without a chance, can be involved in the finish, not to be left out. Here we have Peaceful Day, Bernard Ferder for Justin Snape. This was also ran well before the rest, came back, uh, maybe probably needing his run, but I think if, uh, this was will improve, can be involved in the finish. So that is race five, let's move on to race six. A six is a, a merit rated 94 handicap over a thousand meters. And let's look at the betting. Aqua Bill 22 to 10, Mr. Vargas 4 to 1, Apollo Ice 92, 5 to 1, Albrega, Skidoo 7 to 1, Water Winter 10 to 1, El Welfare 10 to 1, 16 to 1, Warrior Tiger, and with drawn number 5 with World's Your Oyster. So when I open up this uh, race, before I even looked at a betting, I thought that number two, Skidoo, will be the favorite. 
because if you look at this horse record, I mean, um, here we we running in a in a eighty eight. This horse has been running in stronger competition. Bawana, great side, beat it, it, it. It it won three races in a row. It's have run against some of the best better horses in the Cape. And then to my surprise, and also yeah, the, the jockey has ridden it seven times with three wins in a second. So I thought, gee, well, okay, this horse might be favorite. And to mm -hmm. my surprise, I found this horse at seven to one. And But I think Skidoo, the horse to beat in this race, better class, lower down in, in, division, in the divisions, and definitely has got a huge chance. Number one, Master Vargas, also in with a chance, has been running well. Um, last time out behind Albrega, I think was a little bit outpaced, but uh, I do believe uh, Master Vargas to be running a better race today. Let's have some look at other horses that I um, would like to have a look at. Here we have number seven, Albrega. Um, it is um, that one last time out uh, with the same jockey. Um, only got penalized with four, uh, four kilograms. So it's carrying two kilograms more, four points. And can also be involved in a finished well-bred horse. The steward stable is in form as I have been having a few um, winners lately. And then uh, I have number nine, Al Watt. Uh, it, uh, what is the half brother to Al Braga? You can you see that bump and grind, but it's a few years older, but still running like a young horse, getting a minus four can definitely contest the finish. So that is race number six. Now let's move on to race number seven, which is a so more sprint listed over 1,200 meters. Let's have a look at the betting. Number one, now laying up 15 to 10, 28 to 10, Purple Cloud, Speed Machine, 5 to 1, Spring Assembly, 7 to 1, Hood Spray, 9 to 1, Ross and Rock, 9 to 1, 20 to 1, and Better the Field. Now, initially, when I had a look at this, uh, I thought, gee, number one, now laying up Definitely the, the horse to beat. And I still think number one lane uh, is the horse to beat. But this horse won't have it all on his own. You know, there are other some really well horses. Uh, most of these horses, I think, but for number 10, which is uh, Fort Red, um, will have a chance to win of this race. Some of them has won well in the maidens. Some of them running on well, like year 21.9. If you look at this Russian rock, Winning that race must have a, a decent chance. So I'm going to stick my neck out with number one, but it's not a horse that I will run to the bookmakers to take the the um, the 15 to 10, uh, although it should win. But I think if you're a pick six player today, you want to include the field bar number 10 into your pick six, because I can tell you, I think any one of the other horses can win this race. They all, all, all have chances. Then we go to race number eight. Uh, where is the horse number? Race number number eight, which is a merit rate of 86 handicap, class C, merit rating 77. Let's look at the betting. Speed of light, 28 to 10, 72 moon rock, nasty Harry, 7 to 1, Icon King, 7 to 1, Dragon Power, 9 to 1, Park Town, 9 to 1, 12 to 1, Naturalist. 16 to 1 power of grid, double alliance 16 to 1, 20 to 1, 25 to 1, scratch number 6 and 13. Now, here in race number one, we got two horses that met before. Uh, power grid met the nasty Harry, and um, we'll see where is that race now. Behind Celtic Voyager, like a look at the race behind Celtic Voyager. They both ran in that same race and number one beat number two nasty Harry, but it wasn't much in it. Now, um, according to the weights that I've done, number one should beat number two nasty Harry again. 
Nasty Harry being 7 to 1, and Power Grits, Power Grits 16 to 1. Now, Power Grit is also way down in class year. If you have a look here, this horse has been running in B divisions. The last time this horse ran in a C division, he nearly uh, won a race against What a Winter, What a Winner. Now, What a Winner, no slouch himself. And then the horse has been running in A div B divisions, dead another C division at 82, down Barrington Bay, held up at 200 meter headway. So he got boxed a little bit. Then you're 96, 86, 89, 89. And this race being a C division 77. And I'm sure this horse needed his first two runs. But yet again, here you have this horse behind Skidoo. Skidoo is running in a, in a previous race in the future and has won some good races. I couldn't understand, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this horse was seven to, I was 16 to 1. And the same goes for Nasty Harry, down in class. Must have, must have a huge chance in this field because if you look 97, 98, 89, so definitely a horse that you need to include. And the same goes for free Dragon Power. Dragon Power has also run against some decent oppositions. Kidu, Photocopy, Apollo Ice. Uh, last time out, beyond Master Vaga, lack the finish, a second run after the race, will be fitted now, and, uh, and uh, uh, Aldo de Meyer. And I think in this race, you want to go with the class. And the class is in the horses one, two, and three. The other horses, Speed of Night, just won a maiden, but has competed in uh, 78. Icon King, yes, that gets minus four. That makes it dangerous, but also won in a lower division last time. Fightful is scratching. Pop Town did win a maiden in a lower division last time, ran behind um, Moon Rock. So I could carry on. Um, Double Alliance also shown, but in the 69. Hasn't shown there, they ran in the 92, 94, was, was soundly beaten. Now running against horses from that division. I can't see this horse winning this race. It, it's not possible. And so I can go on. Um, the one horse that I just want to quickly touch on is number 12, Moon Rock. Also in the, ran well in lower division and the minus four do make it dangerous. So all in all, my choice, number one, Power Grid, and with his uh, number two and three to follow up with him, um, to all, all three of them mind probably will be involved in the finish. So that brings us to the conclusion of our preview for today at um, Kenilworth. I hope I can point you in the right direction and that you guys can make a bit of money. And as I always say, break a leg.